CNN political analyst Brian Karam. He followed up with this exchange with uh, Sarah Sanders. Don't you have any empathy for what these people are going through? They Don't. have less than Brian, you do. Guys, Sarah, come on, settle down. Seriously. Seriously. I'm trying to be serious, but I'm not going to have you, you yell out a term. Jill, please call. It's a law, and, and they have, th these people have nothing. They hey, Brian, I know you want to get some more TV it's time, not but that's that, not what this is about. about I want to recognize you. you. Question, Go ahead, Sarah. Jill. Honestly, answer the question. question. It's a serious question. These people have nothing. They come to the border with nothing, and you throw children in cages. You're a parent. You're a parent of young children. Don't you have any empathy for what they go through? Jill, go ahead. She didn't answer his uh, question. What did you think? Well, a couple things. Uh, since we saw the Attorney General quote the Bible, let me quote from the Republican Party platform, okay? That is passed every four years. Among many things said in the platform, it says, children raised in a two-parent household tend to be physically and emotionally healthier, more likely to do well in school, less likely to use drugs and alcohol, engage in crime, or become pregnant outside of marriage. This is the Republican Party platform, the, 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 the party of family values, the idea that there need to be two parents raising a child. And yet we have a Republican attorney general and a Republican president that is separating children at the U.S.-Mexico border. It just seems to just fly in the face of, uh, of everything their party, Republican Party, has led itself to believe up to this point. And you, even the Republican, even the, Donald Trump recognizes how immoral this is. That's why he's coming up with this phony explanation of blaming the Democrats. But the underlying fact that our government is separating parents and children is something that really is growing as an issue in the country and, and frankly is just an abomination. It's hard to believe that these little kids are being taken away from their mothers at the border. And kudos to our colleague there, you know, both Jim and Brian, for m making this. I know, you know, he's gotten a little bit of criticism for being so expressive at the at the briefing, and I think it was unfair for Sarah to say, "Oh, he just wanted to be on TV." You know what? Sometime in that room, when you have a government official and you have a short period of time to get a question, being a little dramatic like that is what gets people talking about an issue. It's probably one of the reasons we're talking about it right now. So I think he did the right thing by really pressing her, because Sabrina. I think the tone of that exchange is reflective of a frustration within the briefing room that this White House has refused to explain its policy of separating families at the border. They've refused to even acknowledge that this is a Trump administration policy. You had both the Attorney General Jeff Sessions as well as the Chief of Staff John Kelly openly say that they were going to pursue a zero tolerance policy at the border that was intended to deter people from coming and presenting themselves for asylum. And you have more than 1,000 immigrant children who have been separated from their parents as a result of President Trump's interpretation of the law. It, it, she's saying that it's been around for more than a decade. Well, previous presidents, Republican or Democrat, did not interpret existing law as necessitating splitting up families in large numbers at the border. It is only this president who sees it that way. Yeah, they got to fix this, and they got to fix it quickly and make sure it doesn't happen anymore.